and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is merged two sorted linked lists which is marked as a medium level problem and is a very common interview problem as well let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given the heads of two different linked lists with name head1 and head2 okay and these linked lists which we are given these these are sorted in themselves okay these are sorted in themselves okay and now what we have to do so basically we have to merge these two linked lists such that after merging them they remain sorted okay so let's quickly see uh, with the test case with the example so here we can see first linked list is this 5 10 15 40 okay and the linked list is 2 3 20 okay and we have to merge them we have to merge both of these in such a way that after merging they remain sorted okay so the new linked list will be basically something like 2 3 and then 5 and then 10 15 20 and then 40 okay so in this way we have to merge and we have to return the head we have to return the head of the new linked list okay all right so pretty simple uh, problem statement is there but uh, now let's see how are we going to approach this so basically we will start with the brute force approach so brute force approach is very very simple what i will do i will simply make a array list okay we will may simply make a array list or some, anything like that and we will fill all the elements of head one all the elements of head one into this list first of all okay let's fill this so it will be something like 5 10 15 and then 40 okay all right and after that i will fill all the head two elements into this list into this list as well so it will be 2 3 20 okay all right and after that what i will do i will simply sort this list i will simply sort this list okay on sorting this list it will be something like 2 3 5 10 15 20 and 40 okay so in this way we are now sorted this list this is an array list okay and after that what i will do i will simply convert this list into a linked list by basically simply iterating over this list and making it a linked list and we will simply return the head of this linked list okay pretty basic approach is there and if you are a beginner level problem uh, problem solver you should try this approach as well okay it will be accepted i guess but the issue is ki yaar, if we are taking this approach we are not utilizing the given property that the linked list are sorted we are not utilizing this because this approach will also work when the linked list is not sorted okay but here we are given the linked list which are sorted so we have to utilize this property okay all right so now let's move on to the second approach and uh, second approach is very very easy uh, look we just we will be having two pointers okay we will be having two pointers let's quickly make this list 5 10 link list which we are given so i'm just making it here so that it become easy to explain 5 10 15 20 okay and after that 2 3 and uh, it is 40 it is 40 and this is 2 3 and then 20 okay all right this is my head one head two and this is my head one okay all right so first of all and now i will be taking few more variables first one is my new head let's say new head as nh okay which is currently null and my tmp node as well which is currently null as well okay so these both are null for now okay all right now first of all what i will do i will simply compare my this two nodes two and five which one is lower lesser two okay so two will be filled first okay so now uh, i will have i have a node which is two okay so i will mark my new head as two and my tmp as two as well okay and now this with whatever node i will take let's say i'm taking this two so now head two will be moved to three okay all right now again i will check ki yaar, which one is greater which one is lesser three or five three is lesser okay so we have to take three node now so now tmp look new head will be fixed here new head will be fixed here tmp will move now okay so tmp which is two ka next will be this node which will be less three okay so it is three and now i will update my tmp to three i will update my tmp to three something like this okay and head two will now be moved to 
20. Head 2 will be marking 20 now. Okay. Again, I will check 5 and 20. Which one is less? 5 is less. Okay. So now this 5 will be added here. Very, very simply. TMP dot next is equal to less node, which is 5. Okay. So TMP dot next is equal to 5. And now TMP will be marking, will be marking to 5. Okay. So TMP is equal to TMP dot next. And this way we can simply write it. And now head 1 will be updated to 10. Okay. Again, I will compare. So now it is 10 times. So it will 10. And again, this H1 will be moved to 15. And in the same way, we are just going to do again and again till both the linked list, all the nodes of both the linked list are done. All the nodes of both the linked list are done. Okay. And if they are done at last, I will simply return my new head, which is fixed at the first node in the starting only. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple it is. The approach is very simple and I think it will be very clear to you. So you can pause the video and try to write the code of it by yourself. Okay. All right. I hope many of you will be able to write the code, but if not, no issue is there. Let me quickly tell you how to write it in very very less code okay all right but before that if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video uh, it will really motivate me a lot and i have made a chrome extension for you uh, with which you can see this watch tutorial button and you can watch the tutorials here only instead of moving to youtube so the link is in the pinned comment make sure to give it a try uh, let's quickly see the code so if you remember first thing what i will do i will take two variables two nodes first one is new head which i will be returning currently null and another one is tmp which i will use to iterate over the linked list my new linked list which is also null okay all right after that i will simply use a while loop and iterate over all the nodes of both linked list to iterate over it i have to do h1 while h1 not equal to null or or head 2 not equal to null either of it is uh, have any value i will simply iterate okay now uh, there will be two conditions two conditions will be there either i will take head one node or i will take head two node okay so let me quickly write the condition when i will take head one node okay so look to take head one node first of all head one should not be equal to null okay so simply write why if head one not equal to null and and there are two conditions first one is if head two is equal to null if head two is equal to null i have to take head one okay otherwise otherwise what otherwise head one dot data is less than head two dot data in that case also i will have to take head one value okay so again look one more thing is there i have to check if my new head is equal to null if my new head is equal to null, it means I have got the first node, first ever node. So I have to initialize our new head. So new head will be now at head one. Okay. And TMP will also be equal to head one. This will be done only first time to initialize. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise what I will do. Look, if you remember what I was saying, key now this TMP dot next will be pointing to head one. And now I have to update TMP as well. So TMP is equal to head one, something like this. Very, very easy it is. And after that, I will come out of this loop. So now look, head one, which was lesser is taken into consideration. So I have to update head one as well. So head one is equal to head one dot next. Very, very simple it is. And same way in the else condition. Now look, for head one, I have written all the conditions. When I will take head one, same thing I have to do for head two. Okay, so let's quickly write that. If new head is equal to null, new head is equal to head 2 and tmp is equal to head 2 as well otherwise tmp dot next is equal to head 2 and tmp is equal to head 2 and after that i will update these two as well so pretty simple same code is there for but it is this time it is for head 2 okay and after that i am coming out of this loop here i just have to do one thing tmp dot next is equal to null and i will simply return my new head i think it's very very clear to you let's quickly try to compile this and check if i have not done any silly mistakes so it's getting compiled let's try to submit this and if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video comment uh, what improvements you want and how it was clear to you i think it is getting accepted so yeah that was it if you want me to explain this line tmp.next is equal to head one let me quickly tell you that so now let's suppose 
till this point i have done my new tmp my uh, 235 are done so now head 1 will be at this point okay and head 2 will be at this point okay new head will be at this point and tmp will be at this point okay i think you guys are clear so now what i will do i will check yeah 10 value and 20 value which one is smaller 10 value which means head one so i will take head one now okay so how i will take this head one look tmp if you take these two lines tmp dot next is equal to head one so five ka next will now point to 10 which we are doing and now tmp instead of pointing to five will point to 10 so that we tmp will always be at the last node okay tmp will always be at the last node i think that was it for today and uh, it will be clear to you if not please ask in the comments the code will be on my github the link is in the description so make sure to check it out i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye